Good morning, welcome to the channel, folks. Back at the remodel. Please excuse Waldo. If you hear him barking, I just got home. He's got one of his stories, said he saw orange alligators. Can't believe that boy. Let me show you my progress. Hasn't been a lot of progress, but I had to stop. Some things needed a little tweaking. Well, let's turn around here. I've got the metal roof this far. I call it roof. It's a ceiling, man. Okay, we got this light in. Let me tell you what I was doing wrong here, guys. I got them all right now. I, instead of putting the wire through the metal down, I should have took the wire from the light and put it up and hooked it up in there. The lights are all supposed to be inside. Once you do that, you don't have that big thing in the way keeping the lights from going up. So now I've got them up. I got the third one in. That one went really well. And yes, you can see that you can see the it's not tight. You can see where I've got this. Now this actually I wanted would have wanted it to be underneath this one, but I had to take some of these down to fix them lights. And when I put the boards on here, these are six inch boards. Okay, anywhere you see these screws and these seams, that will all be pushed up tight. You won't even know it's there. You've seen the kitchen, you know, and you've seen me do the office. Uh this part took me about three hours, two and a half to three hours. I've got all these leveled out. You, I showed you the gap, how it sloped up. I actually had to use two by fours and shims to make everything level and everything is perfectly level now. Uh, I have not got up. That's going to be the last thing I do in here is going to be, uh, you won't see any of that. Um, just wait till the trim work gets done. So where I'm at now, I'm going to remove this box and never, ever, ever, let me put you up there. I was fairly new at electrical when I did this years ago. Never, never, never do that. What you need to get is these connector clamps, and I didn't do that. Uh, I can't show you. I'll, I had one in my pocket. Where'd it go? Here. These are what you have to have. This clamps down on the cable, you leave about... That much in, a little less than that, and you clamp down on these and they keeps it where none of that ever moves or rubs against the metal. Good, thank God that's south wire and it's, you know, but that isn't. So I'm going to take that cover off the box and put these clamps on and I'm going to do it right. And I'm replacing that box. I got a new one. You can see it's all bent up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I may have to add uh a longer piece of wire with to that uh, junction box uh i got a trace I, I think i wired them back the way i had them but i need to rewire it i'm also this used to be the switch this is dead switch but that's the switch for the ceiling fan and that's the switch for the kitchen light i'm going to remove that and i'm going to put a switch in right here for the ceiling fan uh, so I'll have to take this won't be nothing to take back off. I'll put the switch for this uh, ceiling fan in and Wire that right there the wires just right inside there So that won't be a big job at all, but I want to get it done right before I get everything finished And then once I put this piece of metal on man, there's three more and uh, It'll go fairly quick, but I ran out of screws yesterday putting up the the purlin things so I couldn't go any further. The screws I had weren't long enough. I got to have at least two inch screw to get through there. And the ceiling from here on this point, you know, from here on is very level. And in fact, it was, it was only unlevel at that one point where the uh, joist had sagged. And I don't know if I can get in here and see. I had to repair uh, one of these. You see how they got these two uh, joists, floor joists joined together for that span? Well, that's common, but I, uh, there was one before this one that those had separated. So I had to drive some lag bolts through them and it pulled them together and straightened everything out. So I got to get all this done while I'm in here. So that's what's taken, you know, a good amount of the time. Now these lights, I went and I bought, I bought a dimmer switch. So that makes these a lot nicer. And you can take them down pretty low, but I do have an issue, not on these lights, 
but when you switch it to the nightlight mode and I have a theory why and you turn them down yeah I don't know if it'll do it but you get a little flickering so I'm thinking that's because it's such low amperage and it has two other outlets on the line really there's nothing running other than the microwave which wasn't it, it will flicker when the microwave runs but it won't do it when it's uh full light and i've heard these dimmer switches are, and these are dimmable lights it says on the box dimmable but i like that look how low that goes and these are rolling lights by the way you can buy these on amazon i should be doing their review soon i've wasted a bunch of time not filming putting these in but i want to give them a good review because it's a pretty cool light all right, so I'm going to get on this electrical right now. I might film a little bit of that, but once I get to the metal, then we should finish this today. That's my goal is to finish this. Once this piece is up, that's easy. That's uh, And I've been cutting them. Let's go outside. I've just been cutting them with uh, hand shears. I mean, this stuff's light, light metal. I can't find it. I did clean my table up a little bit. I organized. See, these are new parts. I had to get some oversized covers because I, I don't think I needed them for the, yeah I needed them for this one because I cut too much yeah and then these uh, they're spaced right but for some reason it's just when you remove old sheetrock and you're putting new stuff on it never goes in like new construction so these are in a little far i got some shims that you put here and it brings out the outlets then the covers will go on but uh, i always like to get these oversized ones that came with the dimmer it's a different color but who cares i don't care and then i got uh actually i don't need that but you know got the new box because you can see look at the tabs here Look at them there. For some reason, I pulled them down. I don't know why. Now let's go outside and I'll show you what we got. <sighs> yes. Got all this new stuff waiting. i just been using hand shears to cut this. Finally, finally got some saw horses. Makes it so much easier. I think I got five five pieces left and I only need four or six pieces. I only need five But I can use these uh, Maybe for underpinning, you know, they'll, they'll have a use All right, let me get busy. I'll see you in a minute All right, this is why I like having these power boxes I'm gonna be turning off the uh, power breaker to work on this electric and I can just plug the refrigerator into this so I got a good while on that, so that's the only thing I was worried about. All right, I got the cable clamps in. I ran a restrip some wire. As you can see, you got to leave a little bit, uh, you know, half an inch of the sheathing out. I couldn't do that on this one, but it's it's you know it's fine. I got to tighten that up a little more. There's a little ring in here you can hit with a screwdriver to tighten those up. Now when I did this house. Uh, Turn this off. When I did this house, there was no family. None of that garbage. Okay. It was me. So I had to learn on the fly, guys. And I made mistakes. But, you know, as the years went on, I, I got very, very comfortable with electrical. So this is one of the first things that went up. And, I, you know, I just stuck those in there. I didn't know any better. Well, now I do. So now I'm taking the time to uh, fix this. I still got to put the new box for the ceiling fan up. I wish I would have left it where it was. Okay, here it is. All right, I got that all rewired. I ran a new wire to the fan. Now all this is, guys, is a uh, junction box, which is, you know, uh, neutral to neutral, hot to hot, ground to ground. Now one thing I did not have in here that I should have had was a, I don't know if you can get up in there, a ground. You got to make a pigtail put a ground to the box because if it's a metal but you don't have to do that with a plastic box but if it's a metal box you need to have a ground and you need to have the green screw and see how that's humped in there that is the one it goes on all right on to the fan box i had a momentary lapse of uh 
confusion. I was thinking about switches, and I'm in the junction box. It has nothing to do with the switch. Switches come off the actual lights or the fans. Uh, so I'm taking my time. I'm glad I got that power box to run my refrigerator. All right, I'm kind of working backwards today. I had to take that piece of metal off because I got to run a new wire for the new switch. And this was not long enough. It barely went in that box. Uh, and I couldn't get it, couldn't get the cable loose because it's tied right here. And I imagine that's the only place it's tied. So I'm going to fish a new line. I hope I got enough. I'm going to put a new switch up here. And I'm going to fish a new line for the box. I got my box mounted. And of course that's all wrapped up. So now I'll go, let's go see. Man, I ain't got much of that left. I'm glad I bought a hundred foot. Man, that should be enough. And we'll see. Before I pull that old one, we'll check it out. So I'm going to get that wired up. And uh, so you can see the old one. And I'll show you. You never put a drill on your ladder and then move your ladder. Land it right on top of my foot. See, that's that, that doesn't give me enough wire to work with. It may... You know what? There's enough slack in that. And if I put the switch up higher, I'll have more. Uh, I don't have to waste this wire. I'll have enough. Now that's thinking. Why go through all that? All right. All right. I didn't start this project thinking it would turn into a major electrical uh, thing, but it it has. No, I wouldn't say major. All right. What I did, and I'm going to have to address this somehow. I took, instead of having my light switch for the kitchen in here, and there was three switches. One operated the light for the kitchen, one operated the ceiling fan that you see up there, and the other one, uh, there used to be a light there over the bar. So, none of them are needed, except for this kitchen light, which will now be on the outside, which I'm going to kind of like better, because that's better than having to come in here, you know, fumble around for that. I can simply turn it on. I'll know this is a ceiling fan and I took took that loose I put it up a little higher that was able to give me more than enough up here so now I don't have to replace this wire I just pulled them back pulled the slack out uh, don't have to waste wire because that stuff's expensive but now I just put my switches back uh, I'm glad I took them off they weren't wired to my specs obviously but now I got a I'll probably just run a whole new piece of metal here and cover that hole up. And I, I don't know. I can't. I'd have to remove the whole cupboard, you know. And I like this cupboard, so we'll just, you know, it's a little high for your average height person, but uh, I'm six one. I can deal with it. Now I'll just cut my hole in my sheetrock, put it back on. We're good to go. I don't ever have to worry about that again. And then we can get on. I'll put the metal back on, and we'll get the other three or four cut. And go from there. Uh, I would have never started making a video had I known I had to. But this is reality, guys. Sometimes when you're uh, not so much when you're building your own home, but if you're uh, remodeling an existing home, especially work that I did before, well, you got to do new things. So this is going to be the new switch. I should have this out far enough. I got it out way too far. Yep. It's hard to judge with this board the way it is right there, but it, these little marks here That's supposed to come to your stud and then you should have enough uh, When you put your sheetrock on but that's yeah, that's a half inch too far out So I'm gonna pull this back out move it back pound it in again And we'll be good to go. All right, I'll be back once I get all this stuff wired and we can move on to the metal I don't want to bore you with elect electrical muggle work Electrical mall work. All right, guys. Everything's wrapped up. I got my switches on. Let's make sure. Yeah, yeah. We got the kitchen switch working from out here now. This is not wired. That line is hot. It is hot. I've got them capped off. They're fine. Uh, that's also the power to my kitchen light. So I want my kitchen light and my refrigerator somehow that got wired to it, which is wrong. That's another story. Uh, so gonna go ahead and put this piece of, we're just gonna leave this off for now I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the metal 
hopefully we can get this finished that was like a two and a half hour ordeal but you know what glad i did it sorry don't need you guys no more glad i did it because now i have a peace of mind everything is proper the way it should be i also ran a pigtail for a ground that that box did not have that did not have a ground to the metal box so now we have that that is ready to wire when i get the metal put on then i can move on to the uh, to the ceiling fan and that just happens to be the perfect place it needs to be for when i got to get the metal put on it'll line up just right so all right let me get on this metal and just like that hey put that sheet rock back on there with the wall plate hey no it ain't painted just for safety rolling 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 keep them light switches rolling that but that light fixture is what nine years old i've never changed a bulb in it never and uh guys i got something real nice i'm gonna be doing to the old rusty fridge that's right you're gonna you're not gonna recognize it you shall see in the final reveal and what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna show everything here but in the end i'm gonna take my time make a real good video i'm gonna pull out some uh how this house was originally but i'm gonna do it right and then what i did originally and then what I'm doing now. So hopefully that video will do well enough. It'll pay for some of this. Because it ain't cheap, man. It ain't. All right. Now I'm ready to get some metal cut. And I got about two hours, an hour and a half or so before I got to feed the dogs. Let's hang some metal. Let's put that one back up and then just ka -ching. That one will be a few, little bit time consuming. But not too bad. Here we go. All right, Tilly. Got my my apprentice Tilly out here. I gotta get the clippers. You want to keep them company? Clippers are right here. Tilly Tilly from Tillersville. And there's Millie Millerson. And you know she's from Millersville. <laughs> you guys are too simple, I tell you. All right, let's cut this dude to length. What's that say? Man, never write with a magic marker. You can't read this. 65 and a three quarter. 65 and three quarter. Y'all seeing me? I don't think you're seeing me. Oh, you see. 65. And three cold. You, the time changed, so your time, your whole clock is always messed up, but it's even worse because the time changed. So I don't want to hear you crying. You see me working. I feed you. I have to creep you guys' time up in the, when it starts warming up. Because you eat about five, six o'clock in the evening, and we're feeding you at one thirty. It's actually 1.30 now, but it's 2.30 if you look at the clock. So. Whew. What did I do? 65 and 3 quarters. That mark obviously does not coincide. Well, that's 65 and 3 quarters. That's 65. See? You should measure twice when I do this one then. 65 as well. I got 65 in my brain. Now, I'm going to mark that dude off. Yeah, and all the chirp birds are out. Just like so. Put that aside. We'll get the clippers. It's better to get it from this way. Let's get this crap off here. Get off. It's nice working under the carpet. Oh, 
Oh, that was an irritating noise, whatever that was. These will cut puppy dogs' noses off. But I won't do that. Find these just as quick. Hard on the hands. I hate it when your nose itches, don't you, Tilly? It's happy when you're doing work. Now, the stuff my metal roof is made of, huh? You need to cut them with these. Not easy, anyway. That's 28 gauge. Get out the tunnel. It is not simple. Oh, it's up against it. And there's that. Put this with the scrap. Now, nose is itching. Now we got to measure for the hole. 65 and 3 quarters. Now let's see, we're going to go from that side. I guess it makes any difference, does it? Okay. We want to come up how it's going up. Yep. We want to come up 32 inches. Let's get to the bottom of this. So let's get our in first. 7 to 11. Now 32 inches make a mark. You know where to start. And then from that part, we're going to come over seven, make a mark, and then go to 11, make a mark. Okay, now we know where the box is going to be. Now we come up to our 32, and that goes to 36. Don't you dare blow away. Same thing here. 32. To 36. Now it don't matter if it holds a little bigger. And what I'm going to do is just kind of, yeah, I'm just going to cut 32 to 36. Because i got a fan with a big shroud that's going over it. So I'd rather have the hole be bigger than too small. Something so we can get something to see. Chop! Chop! Do you understand me? Alright, you know Tilly, you ain't gonna like this next sound. I got enough battery power. Get on my hill. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he went, he laid his hat and it was called home. She's looking at me like I'm nuts. I ain't nuts, promise you. Come on now, come on. Safety glasses. Which also double as my read. I hate this shroud. I need to take this thing off, figure it out. I don't even know if I can do it with that shroud on. Alright. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I know what to do. I know what's wrong. Handle's on the wrong daggum side. I'm not a lefty. I'm not a southpaw. 
talking to Tilly. She's over there. She really is. I don't think that's even going to matter. This is awkward. a difference when the blades through when the disc is tight all right we should be cool there where's my box is my mathematics right i don't know all right well, um, let's take around and see what we got man that's all man can do man all right that went in pretty simple well <laughs> it wasn't bad and it's lined up pretty close. There's a shroud that goes over that anyway. But my concern was, is, you know, and I did measure, but it is the exact right height that needs to be for me to mount the ceiling fan. Hopefully I don't have any issues with them, the corrugated thing, but I don't think so. Uh, all right, three to go. And then we're going to go very, very fast. Three to go. I got to put one more uh, slat up there and then we can knock those out. Those are just simple. Cut the length, hang them up. There, there turned out to be a lot of details doing this, you know, like the electrical that I hadn't counted on. And it's just how it goes, man. When you want it done right, you don't want to just throw something up. You want to make sure, you, you know, you have a sound mind with that the electrical's good. You don't ever have to get back in there. And if you do, you know what you got. And, you know, things like moving this light switch, that's going to make my life so much easier. Because instead of walking in there to fumble... Hey man, where you know I just as I'm walking in, flip the light. As I'm walking out, turn it out. It's in a good spot. And you know, the feet that will wait for the ceiling fan. You ain't gonna see that, I don't think, until the last video. It's cool. Alright, I'm gonna feed the dogs. I'm gonna feed me. I haven't been able to do any cooking because I don't have a table and I haven't set up yet for that hot plate. So been eating a lot of frozen stuff. I bought some lunch meats today. I picked up a ham, you know, a whole ham. I thought, well, those are probably better than what you get out of the package. And I looked at the ingredients, 43% sodium. So I put that back and went back to the deli uh, section, found some that had about less than half of that. So it'll be living on sandwiches and things I heat up in the microwave. So it'll be good to get my uh, cooking going again. And I, I'm just going to wait till I build a cabinet. It's kind of dark. It's messy. Look at my dishes. Yes, I've been busy. I'm going to build a cabinet out to match this one up. And have my vent hood there. And there'll be some shelves above. Probably just some open shelves for spices, things like that. But I don't know. I want to get this finished first. Then we'll worry about that. And then, man, and then get on the floors. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that myself. You know why? Because I know I can. It's going to hurt, but I know I can. And I can take my time. There's just a lot of things to that I'm going to have to tile around. Yeah, don't. <laughs> you're going to laugh. I have everything shoved in this corner, guys. But that safe, I cannot move myself. And I want to put that in the pantry. But I need to get a couple guys to help me move that. That's the only help I'm going to need. And we got to take, it's got temporary legs on it. We got to take those off and then wheel it in here to the office. Yeah, that thing weighs 560 pounds. And I want to put it right there on that wall. And it's, hopefully it doesn't, it ain't going to hurt this floor. But hopefully that'll be good. All right, I'll be back when I get to hanging these. We're going to finish this on this video, guaranteed. Ooh-wee! We got a foot long smoked ham, turkey, there's roast beef, there's pepper jack cheese, there's American cheese, and on this one we got Swiss cheese. Subway, screw you and your $20 sandwiches. This only cost me $49.99, but I can get several. And backed by popular demand, ice cold milk, swigged out of the daggum jug. And I am the popular demand. Woo, let's eat. All right, let me measure for this piece. I can't find my good selfie stick that has a tripod on the end of it. So I got you guys stuck in a bucket of screws. So if you feel like you're getting screwed, that's because I got you standing in selfie screws. All right, let's shoot a measurement here. You can just come off with this. And... Oh! It's probably going to be pretty close to what that was. What do we got here? Look, man, when I hook you, do it the opposite way. Now, I try to overlap one full groove here, corrugate, whatever you call them. Yeah, 66 will work. It's a good year. <laughs> we got one, two, we got three pieces. I don't even think the last piece is going to be a full piece. So let's go out and cut one at 66. Get you guys out of there. See, I had y'all stuck down in there. Right up in there. Alright. You got my marker? Yep. Anything else is out here. Oh, I shut it. I know. I keep saying I'm going to replace it, and I never do. Now I'm locked in. And there's my assistant. You're, Millie's just not interested in this stuff, is she? But you are. All right, let me put you guys in the truck thing here. Yeah, you go from a bucket of screws to the inside the... Well, look at that that's stuck down in there all right put you guys down in the truck this i gotta find that selfie stick man all right get a piece of metal uh should be five left or four left Okay, I got this piece started, and I found the easiest way to do this is when you get it up here, I'm only going over one of these uh, ridges, and then it fits perfect together. I'll put the middle one in first, and then that way I can turn it either way I need to turn it to get it all lined up. And so I've already put in the one on that end, and then I'm going to come over to this one. Then you just work your way, you do the middle ones and then the ends. But you don't want to put a, 
you don't ever want to put a screw right on the end. You want to leave it over a couple so when you put your next one up, that it doesn't hit that. So I need to see where my board is, but you can do it on this this one here. Now I've just been starting real slow. And it goes in. And that's it. But I found if I put my ladder right underneath, because there's still 500 of these on the ground. Put my ladder right underneath where I'm going to put the screw in. You can get more leverage that way. And these will all be covered up. So, that's the key. Start slow. And then you still drop one. That's why I put 500 in my pocket. Then I'll go by with a magnet. Move it up and get that center one for the end. I don't know how well y'all can see me. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two back. So I got plenty of room to overlap that. Usually I like to give this a whack. all right one two it may I can use two full pieces because it, it's gonna be end up about right but the nice thing is you know that you're staying square because uh, if you get them in the right groove or on top of the other one then it automatically gets that one straight it's not like putting the cedar I had up here where they could get out of whack so they stay straight and that's why I like using these for ceilings Look at that smoke cloud, man. That thing's weird. That's some smoke there. That has to be smoke. I can smell it. It's pretty wild. Rooster, don't park at him. He's a nice boy. All right, got them all up. Uh, my last clip that I did did not record. I had it on camera mode. <laughs> but uh, here it is anyway. It's all finished. I did not put a screw in the backs. I, uh, I was out of steam. The boards will hang them up, hold them up anyway. But, yep, we got all the electrical fixed. We got the wall switches moved. And we got all the metal up. And now tomorrow I'm going to start mudding. Because I can't put the wood up on the ceiling until I get the mudding and all the taping and all that done and painted. So we're going to work on that next. And then we're on to the kitchen counters and the new cabinet i'm going to build and get it all finished up all right thanks for watching happy trails